flappers, flappers, flappers. Thank you very much. And Josh and Evan, thank you very much. This show is the highlight of my day. Although the bar is not that high. <laughs> the next highest highlight was buying shoelaces. And during the <laughs> pandemic, I don't wear shoes. But you can never have too many shoelaces because these sweatpants are not going to hold themselves up. <laughs> Seriously, though, for the last 11 months, I have been going stir crazy. I've, I have binge watched everything. I've read every book. I've had meaningful conversations with my wife and even listened to her. <laughs> and, and the only thing that keeps me sane is things like this show. Because I'm sane. I'm sane. I really am. I really am. <laughs> Although, Although my therapist doesn't my agree. My therapist doesn't agree. She wants to commit me. I mean, that in itself is crazy. Itself is crazy. If, if what's driving what's me over driving the edge, me. do you all hear that echo as well? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is obnoxious. Uh, what's driving me over the edge um, is that I've been locked up. So how the hell is putting me away going to make me feel better? <clears throat> I mean, that is as crazy as giving crack to a cocaine addict so they can stop using using that's as crazy as giving a teaching certificate to a pedophile <laughs> oh that doesn't bother you that's as crazy as as asking for unity after starting an insurrection <laughs> that's insurrection not an erection When I was a kid, when I did something particularly heinous, my parents' favorite curse was, when you grow up, I hope you have kids just like you. That's not a curse. I wish my kids were as, as cool as I was. But no, I got the real curse. I got kids that are just like my parents. <laughs> never let me do what I want. Never let me go where I want and meet what, who I want. When my son Daniel found out that I was smoking weed at a music festival, old man, I think you need to rethink your choices of smoking weed. What kind of example are you setting? Dude, I'm in a Snoop Dogg Willie Nelson concert. What kind of example would I be setting if I wasn't smoking? <laughs> when my son Zach, Find out that I had the audacity, the unmitigated audacity to go to the grocery store. Old man, I told you not to leave the house huh, like I should starve. And it wouldn't hurt you to come over once in a while. You could bring some food. When the two of them came to one of my open mics and saw you lot, old man, I don't like who you're hanging out with. Oh, no, please don't cut my allowance by... <laughs> Defunding Social Security. <laughs> what really makes me crazy, though, is just because I'm 70, people think that I'm old. Oh, you're 70 years old, and you know how to use a Zoom background? My grandma doesn't even know how to find the any key. <clears throat> the manual says hit any key. Uh, is, is, is this one of them? No, no, no. How about, how about, how about this one? Is this one of them? No, no. I got it. I got it. How about a kilo of Coke? Because granny's got game. <laughs> and it's so much better than Social Security. Look, old age is, a, is an attitude, not a number. Well, unless you've been pushed off that gray cliff, you know, lost your job because of, of your age, lose your job, lose your sense of self-worth. Before you know it, you are sitting in death's lobby. Florida. <laughs> and I'm not old. I walk my dog every day, twice a day, for two hours. Well, it should only be in 90 minutes, but that dog stops every 10 minutes so I can pee. 